What's going on, my friends? I am sitting here in my van, just sitting here in the parking lot thinking. Uh, I've got everything done except just a little more trim. We didn't. We had some screws missing the other day. We couldn't get that. But I'm going to get that, and I'm going to do a tour of the van. We do a really good tour and start talking about it. Just, uh, God, went into the stores to shop. All I wanted was damn protein bars and some wraps that I have to. It's like the prime example is some people need things and people are hoarding stuff they don't normally eat and chances are they probably won't use it and it's wasting and they're hurting other people like i said the other day it's not good like i need olay wraps that have very low carbs because if i diet it has to be really low carb i have blood blood sugar fluctuation you know what i mean it happens to a lot of us but uh i had one bag in there and i was like it was sitting there by itself and i was like should i really grab that bag of wraps and I checked the bag, inspected it really good, hadn't been opened or anything, so I, I grabbed it. So, <laughs> but anyway, enough of that. It's just our media, man, you should be ashamed. And I said it the other day, it's like crying wolf. Listen, God forbid one day, you know, we have something we have to panic, about, a panic seriously about, and something major happens that we have got to panic about. And the American people take doesn't take the media seriously because they've cried wolf too much. It's like crying wolf. God forbid something like that happens and the American people doesn't take them seriously. Then we'll have a serious problem on our hands. And a lot of people could end up hurt or dead. And I pray that never happens. But the thing is, it's just that's what's happening here. Our media has gone too far with this. You know, you look back at the H1N1 virus, killed a lot more people and and people, well, he declared a national emergency. Listen, not every national emergency is for to panic. He did that so he could declare funds just in case it, these people needed help to help with things. But what gets me the most is our media going, it's an economic nightmare. That's the yelling fire in a movie theater that will call, kill your economy. Our media killed our economy in, two, in the early 2000s, the mid-2000s. And they'll do it again if the American people let them do it. Best, someone said the best remedy for this to turn the TV off. Probably turn social media off would be probably better. But anyway, Van is together. I'm just doing some organizing, getting myself settled. I just want to get a good system so I can get the normalcy. I've got a few things to do with the RV and I'm just trying to get that thing sold and hopefully soon it will. And uh, things are going great other than that. Um, I got to just sitting there thinking on videos for the future. I want to start doing more with them and probably start adding music to it. And a lot of music I want to add to it is a lot of stuff that I write. But I can't do all stuff that I do for publishers. So some of the stuff that I can, that I've released, I can do. But there's some stuff I'm probably going to write and set to the side and use for the videos. Or I may get it done in such a way where it's tracked and... I just put it in my videos where I, I, I would rather put music that I wrote in these. I think it'd be kind of cool, you know. Um, I think it'd be very creative. Because like I said a while back ago, I'm not a video guy. I'm not a video editor. I want to get better at this. I'm the music guy. I write music for film and TV. I supply those guys the music. And that's pretty much the gist of that. So that's where my forte comes about. And uh, I'm going to talk more about that too because I want to do an album again this year. And those of you don't know, I have another channel, Chris Williams Music. I release guitar, uh, like instrumental records and stuff. I, it's been five years I'm due. I've been so busy with the film and TV music. And I think the only thing I've released, released in the last five years is a couple of uh, what I call meditation music, but it actually ends up being really good underscore. It's gotten a lot of placements. I think it's very cool on that deal too. No complaints on that department. So I love that, but I really want to write a good instrumental album this year. I want to really do that. I got to pick up the guitar and start really writing heavier instead of just doing production music. Um, they're two different beasts, but everything I write for albums is pretty much ends up in the same realm anyway, which I think is cool. I love doing that. It's so cool. And I'll talk more about that too. So anyway, uh, on some of these videos, I put my webpage in the description. I have it in a few of them, but if you look back in some of my earlier ones, it's in there on my page channel description. I think it's in there. So, but anyway, uh, I will do a video of the tour here in a few days and I'm going to start breaking down each part of this build and talking a little bit about my take on it. Everyone has their own take on it. They're unique, as I've said, and I think it'd be very cool. So I also need to try to get me some sort of a, 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 
tripod for my dash in my car. I'm gonna do that. I've got one back there I sit on the table and do sometimes, but I really would love one up here too. And uh, I've got a GoPro I can use as well. I haven't used that in a while. I think my cell phone's a lot easier a lot of times. I think these cell phones make amazing videos, amazing quality. In fact, there's a course out there somewhere. I think a, it's on a site, I think called Skillshare. These guys do how you can do uh, cinematic cell phone filming or something. I can't remember what it is, but it's, uh, these guys, there's some creative people out there that are so good and what they can do with the cell phone, man, it's amazing. Uh, the iPhone photographers. But anyway, I got to get off here. I'm going to, I've got some organizing for the back, doing some stuff. I've got to get myself a routine. I've got to sit down. I've got an upload coming up here for one of my publishers and I've got to get some cues done. So, but it's, uh, get my year plan back on track and get this done. So I'm glad I was so glad I was able to get this built. I just got to get that RV sold and get on with that. And then we'll be on it. If we can get this Corona crazy on with and stopped, I mean, I'm going to predict this, but I think in about five weeks, four or five weeks, you're not going to hear much about this. Things are going to be back to normal. See, so it will. You know, it's just, I don't know. I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but something's going on. Um, it's an election year. The EN already made a connection. Something's up here with this and our media. That's what pisses me off about it. But anyway, it's a whole nother subject. But anyway... Thanks you guys so much for watching. I can't even talk straight right now. I'm sorry. Thank you for watching. And um, we'll see you guys on the next video. And hopefully the next one's a tour. I want to get that done. Have a great one. Bye.